unicorns. I wanted to hop on here and just really quick kind of give you a Thursday motivation. Um, I would normally put what I'm about to say in my weekly training video update, but I try to keep those down to 15 minutes and already I have filmed so much this week that I don't even know how I'm gonna edit it down and make it all work because I still have my long run for the weekend. So I wanted to hop on and talk a little bit about trusting in your training plan and trusting in your own strength and giving yourself more credit than you maybe normally would. So this morning I had a 45 minute maintenance run on our weekly goofy race and a half challenge training. And I knew that I was going to head into Central Park. I wasn't going to do it in my neighborhood, which I normally do these kind of midweek runs in the neighborhood because they tend to only be a four mile run. So I can easily get that done in the one mile loop within my neighborhood. Just kind of keep repeating and repeating and repeating. But I had uh, a teammate from my running team, Team Shenanigans, who is the not only one of the creators of the, the team and the podcast, but he also hosts the podcast as well. His name is Chris. And he was here on a business trip, but he was gonna be running in Central Park because he's training for the Chicago Marathon and he was going to get his long 18 mile run in today. So of course I knew I wasn't gonna run 18 miles today, but I thought I could meet him maybe halfway through his run and then get my maintenance run in and have somebody to talk to. And again, I've never met him in real life, just you know, talking back and forth on Instagram or also uh, just corresponding through our team Facebook page and emails uh, when it comes to you know ordering our visors, things like that. And so I meet up with him, he's awesome. And I thought going into it, you know, I don't know if he's gonna do interval runs, which I usually do, or not. And I thought, well, he might not be doing interval runs. So do the best, keep up with him as best you can, Laura. And if you have to pull back and start your intervals, by all means, definitely. So I start running and um, I'm not using my interval counter at this time, I'm just kind of gonna keep pace with him. Um, and he said he wanted to keep within like a 9.30 pace, which I was like, I kept thinking that whole six mile loop at a 9.30 pace, that was probably going to just make me go crazy. But I started to run and I felt good and I was, you know, was able to hold a, a conversation easily. And I kept on going and really had this one kind of walk break up the backside of Harlem Hill, which is our big hill in Central Park. And just finished the, that six mile loop which is two miles longer than I had planned to run today, but I felt so strong and I just, it, it showed me that all of this training that I have done so far, these nine weeks of training have really created such an amazing base, which the Jeff Galloway program is great for that. Creating that base, creating that endurance on your legs as well as mileage on your legs plus incorporating some of the strength training and cross training which I'm getting better at doing uh, really kind of showed me that I have gotten stronger and it's sometimes these days like today where you don't realize all of the work that you've already put in and then it shows up in a moment like this now at the end of this run I said to Chris, I will not be running this fast at bird in hand in two weeks. No way. I like, it's not that I, I, I couldn't. I mean, of course, if I put my mind to it, you can do anything. I'm going to choose not to because one, I'm using bird in hand as a training run for uh, the goofy training plan. And also because you know what, I wanna, I wanna take in everything and see everything. So I'm going to use my intervals and do my intervals, especially since it's a course that's very hilly, as they keep telling me everyone. But today just, it, it solidified once again, and this happens every once in a while in your training program, in your training runs, that you are getting stronger and you are building up endurance. And, and to never underestimate what you are capable of doing. 
I don't talk a lot about my pacing on these videos because to be quite honest, it's not at the top of my priority list as a runner. I really kind of evaluate my races and my runs with, am I having fun? Um, am I meeting new people? Am I able to hold a conversation while I'm running? Because I love to talk. And, and if I kind of check mark those boxes, then I feel like I've had a successful race, I've had a successful run. Um, I, you know, I go into running wanting it to be fun. And if it ever becomes not fun or something that just brings me pain, I'll probably look for something else to do that hasn't happened yet and I don't foresee it happening as long as I kind of keep that mentality. But on the flip side of that, it's good to have these moments in your training where you just, it's kind of like having an Oprah aha moment where you're like, wow, I was not giving myself enough credit. I am stronger than I think. I am faster than I think. I can do so much and, and being proud of yourself. And it's okay to be proud of yourself. This is why I actually love when people take selfies because I think we live in a world today where, you know, we, we are told, you know, well, don't pat yourself on the back too much. And I think, well, if you did something that you're proud of yourself for, by all means, just take a moment, relish in that, be proud of yourself. It's okay to be proud of yourself. And if you wake up in the morning and you put your makeup on and you put your outfit on or whatever, like you just get up and you feel good and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna take a selfie of myself because I feel good today, then by all means, live in that feeling good moment. And especially in your runs, if you go out there and you feel strong and you feel good in that run, take a moment, breathe it in, pat yourself on the back, go buy yourself a Rice Krispie Treat or a cupcake or whatever you wanna buy yourself to reward yourself because you deserve it, you have worked hard for this. And just, I guess at the end of all this, I, I, I wanna say to you in this moment, don't underestimate yourself. There are gonna be days where the runs don't feel so great, but every run makes you stronger for the next run. And you are stronger than you think. What did Pooh Bear say? Or Christopher Robin? You're smarter than you think, you're stronger than you think, you're braver than you think. Something like that, I'm totally paraphrasing that. but. You are, and you are building this strength in your training and this endurance and this mental strength and mental endurance. And you're just, you're, you're going, you're doing it. You're gonna do it. And you're amazing for getting out there, putting one foot in front of the other. And you should absolutely just celebrate celebrate those victories. So I wanna give you that permission this week to go out there, take a run selfie if you're feeling it, but take a moment and wherever you are in this running journey, just breathe it in, pat yourself on the back because you're doing an amazing job. And that's what I wanted to hop on here and say. So until my running vlog comes out probably on Sunday, I say to you, happy running, happy miles, and keep kicking butt unicorns because you are amazing. <laughs>